Hi guys, this is Omer from mhot.com and I'm going to do a short gameplay video for the new game mode available in League of Legends, League of Legends Dominion. Now I'll probably spend about 10 to 20 minutes running around uh, checking this game out and make some comments. If you guys want to play League of Legends or just learn more about it, do check out the full review on mhot.com on the link below. So let's go and get started right now guys. The game is about to begin in 10 seconds and League of Legends Dominion is the latest game mode. Whoa, I'm going way too slow. Let's go right now. The battle has begun. So basically this is the newest game mode in League of Legends. It launched around September 26th and I say around September 26th because I'm not sure exactly when plus or minus a few days but it's the newest game mode available uh, i should have went for this item over here to make me go faster but i'm gonna go run over here and take space over here basically it's a capture and hold style game i did a video for this earlier but it was back in beta so let's see what's going on right now i am not paying attention because i gotta take the space over here turn my poison on get a point over there you do start at level three which is one of the differences in dominion i'm gonna go for this guy right here and flip him i'm gonna ignite you and you are probably gonna die now one thing about League of Legends Dominion is kills don't mean as much as capture points. Basically we got this guy over here, we're gonna kill this dude too. Shag was almost dead. Shag was trying to run away, but nope, I'm gonna put a poison in his face and hopefully he's gonna die. I'm gonna hit that guy over there too and keep smacking him around and I'm going, I'm out of mana though right now. So I'm kind of useless, I gotta kind of wait until I die. But we gotta stop these two guys from taking this base. And you can see uh, basically the point of the game is to capture all these bases. There's five of them on the map and right now it's 2-2. Two -two. And whichever team has more bases, he's got two, we got two. The other team starts losing points. Whichever team goes to zero first uh, loses, unfortunately. So let's see, we can shop over here as well. I'm going to buy me some of these over here, and I'll buy one of these too. Now you can see the recommended items are different in League of Legends Dominion. Wow, one of them is already DC'd, so it should be an easy win for us. Yeah, boy. Go us. Now it's 45. But you can see the actual uh, recommended items are different, and it makes a lot of sense because Dominion is not the same as a... Uh, a regular game of League of Legends because basically you gotta capture the bases and kills are not nearly as important and you can see why the kills aren't even shown at the top right over there. You can't see them if you hold tab over here. But basically, oh this guy's back already so shucks it's not a free win. So this guy's already, uh, let's see what I don't want to run at you solo right now because you have that base. And basically when they capture these little bases, uh, where should I go right now? I'm gonna get this health over here. When they have that base, the base turns into a tower so running into it is not a good idea. So we're going to go for, there's a big battle going up over there. We should be able to take this base. There's only one dude guarding it and two of us. Though Riven is coming to help right now. I'm going to go be a baller and sneak behind here. And I'm going to get this speed. I'm going to go for this base right over here. So I'm going to try taking this while nobody is looking. Though Riven, I'm pretty sure is coming towards me right now. So yeah, it's not even going to work. I'm going to try anyway. So you can see my little dude is shooting lasers at it. And the tower can't shoot you while you're trying to capture it. So, you, you know, it's not like it shoots you while you're trying to capture it. And there's Riven over here. I'm gonna kill you, Riven. I'm level 6. You're level 5. Come on, I got my ultimate. You got nothing on me. I'm gonna keep smacking you with my shield, bro. I'm gonna keep smacking you with my shield. Three, three seconds from like, oh, Jesus, there's a uh, Katarina over Nope, it's Rain, not Cat. But I'm gonna keep running around over here, and I'm gonna get this buff in the middle. And there's also a buff in the middle of you. Basically, right click on it, you get the Storm Shield, and it gives you a little buff. Now, oh, oh two seconds. No, they, I did get it. Go me. But one thing I should also mention is that I haven't played too much of Dominion because I actually prefer the regular game mode of League of Legends a bit more. But Dominion is definitely a welcome uh, welcome change to League of Legends because, come on, I mean, I've been playing mobile games for a while. I've played a lot of WoW, played, played a lot of Dota, played a lot of Pawn, and the, the, the whole genre really hasn't changed. I am just dead right now. But I did do a lot of poison over here. Hopefully that guy's going down. Yeah, he went down. I got the assist. But uh, the whole genre really has not changed that much. And probably League of Legends is by far the most unique thing to the entire MOBA genre. Only because the genre has been very static for such a long time. This really does mix things up. I should also mention guys, you can see I'm gaining experience on the bottom left over there. And you can just gain experience simply by being in the game. You gain experience passively over here. A few other differences uh, is that uh, you actually get gold a lot faster too. Look at my tick. It's like, look at that gold. It's spazzing out going up over there. One guy keeps disconnecting and reconnecting over there. He got a double kill right now. My team, guys, is not winning right now. We actually, we have three bases, they only have two. But they're about to capture our, our third base over here right now. So it's back to, uh, they're going to start winning real soon right now. Nope, I wanted to go for this guy, but you know what? We can't really do that. So teamwork is, of course, very much important in Dominion as it is in regular League of Legends. I'm going to go for this base over here. So I'm going to go there right now, too. Basically, there's these buffs on the map as well. This gives me bonus speed up. Oh, can't take that right now. There's a dude right there. I'm going to wait till that Shaq guy walks away. And then I'm going to try taking this base right now, actually. So basically, if they leave me alone for a few seconds, I mean like 10, oh, this guy here, I can't take it. But if you left me alone over there, I could, I could capture it fairly quickly. I'm going to go for this one over here. I'm going to go for that right now. There's three of them up here, one down there, so I'm not sure where their last one is. But hopefully, I should have enough time to go for this right now. And I am taking it. And the reason I started off with my Boots of Swiftness is that in Dominion, speed is like, it's kind of a big deal. Because you need the bonus speed to get to places real quickly. Come on! Yeah, no! Yes, they lost that base. So, nope, they didn't. They almost lost. Shucks. But now, I might be in trouble. I'm going to keep running away. But basically, there's two dudes chasing me right now, and I can turn my ultimate on, grab the speed over there. 
I can go back for uh, Shaq. No, I can spin this guy though. No, I'm not gonna bother doing it. I'm gonna keep stalling these guys right now. There's two guys wasting their time with me right now. But we did lose that top over there again. So we're not really coordinating too well. I'm not doing particularly well either. And I can't take this base with uh, with this a-hole camping it over there. I guess I can push with Haim over here. And the thing about this game too is that you can't... I mean, killing minions is kind of pointless. So I'm not really sure why he's really trying to push these minions. We gain nothing out of it. So we're already losing pretty badly right now, but again, anything can happen. So turn my, I, I might as well kill these guys right now because uh, I, I don't want to run to that tower solo. And these guys do a good job tanking it too. And if the minions, when they attack the base, they actually start capturing it too. And I am down to a half health over here, and we are doing awful so far. I mean, they're, they're just cleaning our clocks right now. Because you can see, they have uh, 469 points, we have uh, 361. So whoever goes to zero first loses, and I'd, I'm gonna leave, and I'm gonna spin you over there, throw you back there, and I am gonna keep running, and I am most likely gonna die, I, I might as well do that. Hopefully we can get one of them, but uh, it's it's a really bad game right now. We killed one guy right now, Heim got one, and Heim got away. So we might, yeah, we're gonna get this top base as well. So you can see when the minions attack it, they will actually start taking the space down. When the little energy thing over there runs out, you start capturing the base. And when it fills up, you start capturing the base. So yep, you can see that working over there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go look over here. I'm gonna buy my, oh, I already had one, why did I buy another one? Uh, you know what, I got two catalyst converters now. I'm a boss, this bought the wrong item like a pro. But you know what, you do get gold a lot faster, as I mentioned earlier. So again, we are right now three to one. So we're actually doing quite well right now. But again, the game can change very quickly when we capture this base right now. So we're gonna have four bases real soon. Yeah, we got four. And based on how many bases you have, the enemy team loses uh, points faster. So I'm gonna go down over here. When you have a base, it's a lot easier to hold it because again, there's a tower over there. And I'm gonna shoot you over there and the tower's gonna probably finish you off. Yep, the tower got you. And the thing is, I can hold this so easily because uh, Riven can't do jack to me because I can just stand by that tower. No, I want to grab you, but you you ran away with your base like a noob trying to run away from me. Uh, this vein over there, I'm going to start flinging you, and there you go, fling back over there. And we're both the same level as well. XP gain is a lot faster, gold gain is a lot faster, and the game is actually designed to end a lot faster than the Summoner's Rift game. Because when you run out of points, the game is over. So I'm just defending the space right now against two people. And I do have a tower over here, so again, it is a bit easier. But keep in mind, if one of them starts capturing it, the tower is not going to be any help because it stops uh, it stops helping when he gets captured. So we got to This guy's going to help me right now. Stun him over there. And let me smack you. Nope. Yes, you're almost dead. Basically, when they're capturing it, the tower stops working, so I got to smack you. When you smack them, the, they start capturing it. And the trumps are capturing. So you got to smack them every once in a while to stop that over there. But you can see I am dead again. I'm going to buy this over here. And again, the recommended items are different, and I recommend buying speed items early on and survivability items because you want to be able to capture the bases pretty quickly and get there pretty quickly. And because the game is so different, the dynamics of Dominion are much different than a simple 5v5 game of LoL. It really impacts what heroes, what champions you're going to play, as well as what runes you're going to get and what masteries you're going to get. You want to have separate, you know, you want to have more useful masteries for a game like this. Like plus speed, I would say is really important. Whereas something like you get less damage from minions is completely useless. But again, that skill isn't very good by itself anyway. But yeah, you want to rethink your masteries and your runes when you're playing Dominion because it is so different. And right now, we are actually winning right now. We have four bases, they only have one. But there's a whole bunch of them over here right now. Kat is going to try capturing this space over there. I think Heim should be able to hold it, no problem. Because he's by himself. I'm going to try capturing this right now. There's four of them diving this tower over here. These two guys are so boned. But I should be able to have enough time to capture this right now. Because they're not even paying attention. And Riven is coming towards me right now with no HP. Come on, Riven. You got nothing on me. And you can see this thing is draining down over here. Again, when that drains down, we should be able to capture it. And, not, well, not yet. Now it's back to neutral. And now we're going to capture it right now. Come on. It's almost empty over there. There we go. It's going to fill up. We're going to capture this base right now. They did capture our top base, but we did take this one in return. So go us. We got the drill. You can see the icons for each of the bases right now. I'm not sure why it's called the drill. Is there like a drill by? Yep, there's a drill right over there. I'm not sure why, but you can see on the mini-map there is a drill. And no, nope, trying to capture my base already, man. I gotta stop this right now. No. Nope. Good. I'm gonna go do that to you. And I'm gonna start flinging you. And you are so dead, Vane. You are a dead man. And you can see the enemy gets minus two nexus help when you get a kill. So it kind of helps to get kills as well. But again, kills are not the main aspect or the main objective of the game. You can have an amazing score like you'd be 30 kills, one death, but you could still lose. And there's another Riven over here. But right now we're doing an excellent job holding our bases. We have four bases, they only have one. So again, Riven's kind of diving into me in a very poor manner because I do have the tower. Oh, you got your ultimate up. I'm going to go chillax by my tower over here. I might as well. It doesn't hurt to stand over here. And I do want to help up over here real quick too. No, nope. Shackle's running towards me. No Shackle, he just got flinged. Flinged you to your own death. And our base down here is pretty clear right now. I'm going to try helping top right now with the Scion over here. This guy's almost dead too. Malphite's going down. I'm going to slow you and I'm going to try capturing this right now. But Riven is going for this. I probably should not have left that base. But uh, I am going to capture this real quick. And yes, we might actually get Malphite too. And I'm going to kill Malphite real quick. Fling you and punch you over there. I didn't get the kill. Scion got my kill. 
But you know what? It doesn't matter because we're going to capture this top base. They capture our bot base too, so we got to watch out for that. So teamwork and uh, cooperation are so important. But when you're playing pub games like this, nobody's even communicating with each other. But I can imagine a game like this being super, super competitive because you want to plan out who's in defend what bases, where you're going to go. you got to spread out your forces too and make him up. Oh, I'm going to slow you over there. Though, going for that guy is probably not a good idea. He just goes in Viz. But I can go for, uh, we can go for Ribbon. And he's, uh, my teammate is almost said, I should probably uh, mosey on down over here GTFO because there's four guys around me and I am going to die. My score is four and four. Now my score is negative. But again, we still have, two, we still have three bases. They have two. And you also want to figure out when you want to go for these buffs as well. I am dead. I can shop while I'm dead. I'm going to get this over here. I do... What, what do they have right now? Do they have too much AP or AD? They got a lot of AD, it looks like. Yeah, well, they do have Cat. And uh, I'm going to go for... I'll go for this over here. More movement speed from the Force of Nature. But I also kind of want to spend this item over here. This Catalyst Protector over there. So I should have gotten the the Protector. What is it called? Uh, Banshee's Veil. I went, actually, you can't even get Banshee's Veil in this game. It's actually restricted. There's actually a lot of items restricted in Dominion, which you can't get. Because I, I guess the developers figured those items were not meant for Dominion. And they also added new items that are Dominion only, which also spices up the gameplay and makes the game a bit different. If you've played a lot of LoL and you're getting a bit bored of the regular game mode, I think Dominion is worth checking out because A, it's shorter, which is which again makes things a bit different as well. You got different items, you got a whole different style of gameplay. I mean, it looks the same game. It's the same game with the same game mechanics, but the dynamics are a lot different because you know you really have to play in a completely different way. Oh my god, that thing is annoying me. I probably should kill it, but I'm gonna take the space right now. And Shaco is coming towards me. I am not gonna be able to take it. It looks like they're winning right now. They have three. And you can see we're losing points right now. Can we take it? No, nope, I'm gonna have to run away over here real quick. And that tower does so much damage. And hopefully I don't die. That would suck if I die right now. But no, I'm not gonna die. That Shaco guy's gonna start defending it too, so I can't really take when he's over there. I will get the speed buff over here, and I will get this. I will get the health over here too. You can just recover health by picking these up. Kind of like you can the Quake 3. They look like the Quake 3 health icons. But I'm going to go for this top base right now. Hopefully I can take it right now. And we probably should be defending this base right now. But I am free and clear to take this top base. Shaco is going to start running towards me real soon, I suspect. Nope, we got this guy coming towards me as well. Malphite. Man, these guys, there's three guys on the right side of the map. I'm, I did a decent job stalling, but you know what? I'm going to die right now anyway. And yeah, I'm dead right now. So I got plus 10 points over there for being a martyr. For dying to the tower, which I'm not sure why the game is rewarding me. And the game keeps track of your score by your personal score over here. I am third place right now in terms of contribution, uh, how much you're contributing to the team. So yeah, the game measures not by kills and death, but how much you're contributing. I'm third place right now. So by simply capturing bases and helping your team, you do get those points. We were winning a bit earlier, but now the game did turn around. I feel like most of the, most Dominion games are very close because the game, again, kind of, it can go either direction very quickly. I'm gonna go for this item over here real quick. So I did, I did buy two uh, catalyst convert, pr catalyst the protector. What I call a catalyst converter. <laughs> you, put those, you put those in your cars. Two catalysts really quickly. But yeah, we're gonna go try helping our teammates over here, and I probably should go towards these guys real quick. And it looks like uh, Vayne almost died, but could not quite get her. I'm gonna go for Vayne right now with my butt. I just turned on my speed. Gonna get that speed as well. And where is Vayne? Oh, there's Vayne. Gonna get flung. There you go, got her. But again, the kill doesn't really help me that much because I, uh, I mean, it helps in a degree because Vayne has to respawn back in base. And the respawn timer is a bit lower as well. I gotta wait 20 seconds to respawn for Vayne. And Vayne's gotta go back on the battlefield, which again, is a bit of a stall. So again, it's not, it's not useless. It does help. This base, I will not be able to take solo any more people with me. Simply taking a base is, is difficult when they outnumber you. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try slowing them and then running away. Because that's what I'm going to do right now. Hopefully, uh, Oriana will go for that base over there. If I stall here long enough, it should be alright. Because Oriana is going for that base. But it's not going to work either. There's still two of them here. I can't do anything to them. I mean, I'm going to go ahead and leave. Twitch is here too now, which I guess might help. Uh, I guess I can go for this guy. And we'll go for yes, we can go for him, I guess. I'm going to stop that guy away. And we got three people here right now. It's not looking good. I'm gonna leave Twitch to die, is what I'm gonna say. I'm, you know what, Twitch? Sorry, but we are leaving you. Oriana's gonna capture this base, so it's gonna work out really well for us. But the enemy is still, uh, we're gonna be ahead after we, after we get this base. So help with capturing. The more people are capturing it, the faster you'll take the base, too. So yeah, while, while Twitch died over there, valiantly defending or stalling, whatever he's doing, we were able to capture this base. And there's a guy running towards him over here. I'm gonna start, I wanna fling uh, this guy towards our tower right now. And yeah, he's guaranteed dead right now. Well, not yet, actually. I forgot to turn my poison on, but now you are dead. Actually, you're almost dead right now. If you get away, wow, that would be awful. And yeah, you did get away. I didn't turn my poison on as quickly as I should have, so that was kind of my fault. It was kind of my bad, but you know what? I'm going to defend this base right now. If I stand around here, it's almost impossible for them to take it by themselves. If two or three of them come towards me, then maybe they can take it. But I'm going to just chillax over here. And nope, my tower's attacking them, which is cool. 
I'm gonna just keep chillaxing over here. There's two guys around me. By being here, I'm stalling these two guys right now, too. They can't really go anywhere else, and they can't take the space. So they're kind of wasting their time. And let's fling you, and nope. Again, I'm, I'm losing HP pretty quickly, though, so I do need some backup ASAP. And yeah, up oh, we got him over there. Gonna go for you real soon. And nope, can't let you take my base. Can't let you take it, but you know what? You guys are gonna take it. I did stall three of them for quite a while, and yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go down right now. And keep running! Keep running! I'm like... Yes, keep going. And I keep going. I might get away. I might get away. I'm going to go for the fling. Go for the fling. Yes. Did I get, no, that was uh, that was the fake Shaco. That was actually a really bad idea by me. We got to capture. We got to recapture this base right now. We lost it. But the enemy doesn't have it either. It's gray right now. It's neutral. And the score is 2-2. So nobody's losing points. You only lose points when the enemy has more, more capture points than you. So let's see how we're doing right now. Uh, we're still winning, but only by a smidgen. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this item right now. And I'm going to go for the next recommended item right now because I'm not even about looking. And we're gonna go... We're losing right now, which is not good. We're losing points again. But if we capture like four bases or five bases, the enemy will lose points a lot faster than if they capture one or two more than you. So let's see. I'm gonna go for... Our next is going down over there. And again, the average game is a lot shorter than the average game of uh, Summoner's Rift. This guy just died over there. Now, I feel like this Heim... I'm, I'm not even sure if he's really helping the team. He's like doing his own thing over here. He's like... He's pushing bot as if it's like a solo game. He's not even coordinating with us at all. He never even tries taking bases, but... Who knows? I, I haven't looked at him too much. But I will try capturing this base right now, which is probably not going to work. Man, Shaq was actually really good for this because he can put down the... Oh my god, Shaq was actually really annoying because he puts down the his wards over here and they kind of the turrets over there. It's so annoying. I got to run away over here again. I'm going to slow you guys and run away. But I am not in a good position. There's three guys around me. But yeah, we're doing really poorly right now. I mean, we should have been able to capture a few bases. There's three guys chasing me. Four guys around me. So why aren't my teammates capturing bases? We got Twitch capturing the top base, which is good. While these uh, three guys are all wasting their time on me, I'll slow them down, and we should be able to get the top base right now. Hopefully. It looks like we're going to get it. Come on, Twitch, you got this. And no, Twitch didn't get it, but Twitch almost had it. I'm going to go for Vayne, who is so close to dying and didn't quite die, though. I will ignite you, but nope, I'm dead anyway. But we're doing a really bad job capturing bases. We will get this bot base right now. But we're going to lose this top base anyway, so it's going to look like it's going to be 2-2, it looks like right now. How do we lose that base? It's right next to us. It's like our natural expansion if you play StarCraft. But let's see right now. You basically got to reach, you got, for Dominion, you got to change your item builds around a lot too, because the, the same items that work in a regular 5v5 game are not going to work in a Dominion game. I'm only third place right now because I'm talking while playing, which I'm going to blame that, and a little bit of fraps lag on me not being number one. We're going to get ready and capture this base right now. So that should put us ahead by a little bit. But actually, we're still down by total points. Again, nobody's losing points right now because it's 2-2. If you go as a posse as a group, you will capture bases a lot faster. A lot faster. And the whole Dominion map is designed to be faster paced because every unit has 15% armor penetration. Uh, sustain is a bit... Game and healing is a bit lowered as well. So just the game is generally designed to go faster. And we are going to kill... Wow, you are dead right there. Going to kill Shaco next. Hopefully, we're going to kill Shaco next. I mean, he's, he's the next obvious target. But I am getting, I'm getting shot quite a bit by the tower. And I am almost dead by that tower, but you know what? We got him. And we're going to go for Black Lithium, and now we're going to go for Melfoss. Oddly, I don't see Melfoss play that much in a normal game, so we did wreck them over here. But too bad there was nobody defending our bot base. If we had one guy down over here, well, we need two probably to be able to defend that. But we got the top base over here. We got to capture that next one right now, because the enemy is winning again. I'm going to turn on my, my ultimate just to get my HP regen back and faster speed. But it looks like we, should, we can't let this guy get that base over there. So somebody TP back to stop him. We have one guy here where you should be able to defend this. Elfin Fury over there. We got Twitch gonna attack him. Yes. If you get attacked, you stop capturing, and I'm not paying attention. And we're gonna get I'm gonna get ourselves screwed over there. So yeah, I probably shouldn't be paying attention over there. Gonna keep running right now. And I am probably not gonna make it out of here alive. Though I might, I might make it out of here alive. I do have my, my coolant coming down real real soon for my slow to help him. And nope. Oh, I'm gonna die as well. And there's three guys on me, guys. How am I not dead yet? Fling! Fling! Yes, did I get you? No, I'm not gonna get you. We're going to lose that top base now as well. So we're still... It's 3-2, but it's going to be 2-2 two, two real quick. Actually, it's going to be 2-3 real soon. So we are losing this game. Hopefully, we can turn this around, though, because uh, I might as well go for the Sunfire Cape right now. I, I feel like I need more survivability, though. I should probably get some more magic resistance against that Katarina, because Cat does so much damage. AP Cat does ridiculous damage, but... Does anybody ever build AD Cat? I'm not even sure. I always see uh, AP on Katarina. So I'm going to go towards... Uh, Malfoss defending bot, Shaco's up top. Shaco's so annoying, he puts down his wards, uh, his, tower, his little mini turrets. We're gonna go for Vayne over there, I'm gonna fling you towards us. And you are so dead, Vayne! I didn't get the kill, but you know what? I helped out. And now we're gonna go for Shaco over there, he's by himself. We're gonna tower dive him, 4v1 style over there. Alright, we're gonna get this guy right now, and his wards are so annoying, let's go capture it right now. Can't capture these stupid things attacking me, but my teammates are getting it. 
And yeah, he's gonna go down hopefully real soon. And yeah, he's gonna die. And if he doesn't die, he's gonna die real soon. So I'm capturing him right now while my teammates are gonna kill him. And yep, he's dead. Malfoss is going for the bot base. We got the top base right now, so it is 3-2 again. We're gonna be able to hold it because right now enemy is losing points while we are not. And I'm gonna slow Cat, and Cat is gonna die over there. I I even fling. I tried flinging, but I didn't. So we can go for this. No, I can't believe we. I'm gonna go for that bot base right now. We lost. Melfast is gonna capture that bot base, which is awful for us. I wouldn't be losing again. I'm gonna turn my ultimate on just to get this get over here a little bit faster because I need to capture this base ASAP. Hopefully my teammates can capture this, but it's not looking good. Actually, we, we're gonna get it right now. So that's good. I will be able to hopefully take the space off them. I'm not sure if I can capture, but I'll make a neutral. So yeah, I did. Uh, I didn't capture, but I made a neutral again. I should be able to kill Malfoss, I think. I might as well do this and do, turn this stuff on over here. Auto attack, keep auto attacking him and see what happens. Hopefully, I should be able to win this fight, but you know what? We'll see what happens any second. I should probably not stand toe to toe with him because he does hit me a bit harder. And come on, bro, you're not gonna capture that for me. What, what are you even trying for, man? I'm keep smacking you. And uh oh, Katarina's here, not looking good. Turn my ghost on and GTFO. I'm gonna, I do have Twitch coming towards me, so I gotta stop these guys, stop taking it. Uh, uh, not looking good. Come on, Twitch, get over here faster. Twitch didn't be able to kill. Yes, we're gonna get this. Oh, I am going down, it looks like, but it looks like I, I kind of stalled. If we capture this bot base, we should be doing all right. It looks like a uh, cat is gonna be able to own us, because cat is OP. And we're gonna be able, to, nope, we lost that top base as well. Uh, I'm gonna get my Sunfire Cape right now. I have a lot of money as well. I'm gonna go for some more, uh, I'm gonna go for Frozen Heart. Uh, I do wanna get more uh, magic defense though, but you know, I'm just gonna go for frozen heart. Why not guys? Why not? And we did lose our well, we didn't lose top base. Well, they actually we did lose it They have it right now, but right now. Yep. Enemy is winning again It is now 70 to 45 and we are losing points really quickly I mean, I still prefer the regular League of Legends But this is definitely a welcome change and a breath of fresh air to the whole genre because honestly guys League of Legends has been pretty static for a while I mean you got you got new heroes, but game modes wise it is very static You do have 3v3, but the, the premise of 3v3 the twisted tree line is the same as the 5v5. I mean, you just get kills, you push the lanes, and you win. Here, the gameplay is actually completely different, and because of, because of the way the game works, it, the dynamics are different as well. And I can go for Vayne, kind of useless, but you know what? There's two guys here. We're not going to be able to capture that. Uh, we got to capture base ASAP. Or we're going to lose. I'm going to turn that on. I'm going to go for the speed buff over here, and then I'm going to capture that base right now. Because if we don't capture base real soon, it will be over. Uh, nope, we can't capture this base here because this jerk is here. I'm going to keep running past him. I'm going to go for. Riven is going top, I guess, because Riven didn't see me. So I'm gonna go ahead and start capturing this base. We do need a base ASAP. Looks like uh, it is a two, three. Stupid Riven's coming towards me. No, I need to capture this base. And I am not gonna capture it at all. And if we keep it uncaptured like this, it'll start regening. You can see it regening right now. And we are not gonna win this game. It is a guaranteed loss at this point, unless we capture base ASAP, because we're gonna lose it real soon. But yeah, that's uh, League of Legends Dominion for you guys. And yeah, I'm, I'm calling the game already. Though, it could still turn around if we capture base real quick. Because if you capture base, you stop losing points. Because if it, the score evens up. And it's not going to work. And I'm going to run away. And I am last points right now. Wow, that's kind of lame. Wow, I thought I would have a little more points. But you know what? I am last place on points. Go me. But it is the game right there, guys. Uh, that is League of Legends Dominion for you guys. It is different than regular League of Legends. And I would say worth checking out. If you haven't played it, I mean, you might as well try it at least once or twice. I prefer the regular game a bit more. But again, it's something different if you want to try it out. Anyway, guys, if you guys do want to play League of Legends or just learn more about it, do check out the full review on ML.com on the link below. Anyway, guys, later.